Tesco was founded by Wally Tessman, who uh, created a, uh, built a great company with a family atmosphere and uh, we're into manufacturing uh, product, building product, and can't wait to get the next thing started. I would say our greatest asset is our customer service. Because of um, the services that we provide, um, the customer support that we provide after the project is completed, and um, just during the whole design phase, and then how fast we can get product out to our customers. I think that's what really sets us apart and makes people want to come back because they know they can call us and if they're in a jam and they'll they'll get results. One of the main thing is we have a job called knockdown. Basically, that's when a customer calls and say we have a blackout on the intersection or our wastewater um, plant completely shut down or something like that. So basically we call that a knockdown job, which we need to get out there and replace the unit or repair the unit right away. Before that, it was, okay, we'll call for PNA, price and availability. We wait for it the next day to come in and then it goes out. Um, that was one of the main headache. It was just a knockdown job that we need to get out right away. Before we used to cut everything on a PO and manage it ourselves. So we'd cut a PO that cost us a hundred bucks to process. It just took a lot of time to order takes and you run out. That's the ma major thing. If you run out, you got a part holding up a five, six thousand, eight thousand dollar job. Say you have one bin empty on the shelf. I have to cut a PO for one bin, whether it's $10 worth of stuff or $100 worth of stuff, I, I gotta cut it. So basically, yeah, it's just, it's a nightmare because you're looking at the waste. When we first decided to take a leap of faith and move into one facility, we looked at and challenged our buyers and our material handlers to be more efficient and effective and come up with some ideas and we've visited a lot of other manufacturing facilities and we saw where we needed to improve how we were handling things. Uh, we went on a tour at a different facility that Buckles was doing this process with. The new way is the two bin process. Once you figure out the number you want to put in there, Buckles did the rest. We have a two bin system with Buckles Smith. Um, the two bins basically has our mid and our max. Max is on top, mid is on the bottom. Um, after we depleted the parts on top, we put that bin on, on, on the top shelf. We turn around on the bottom, the bottom bin, so the part number will be facing out. So we actually know what part is what needed, what's not. After that, Buckles Smith will come in and then scan the top bin, basically indicating that this needs to be ordered. And then for each bin, it has a, a quantity that's its order. They'll scan that, they'll take the bin back, fill up the, the bin with the full quantity, and then bring back and we we'll start the process again. Back then we did 8, 000, over 8,000 POs and to date, uh, 2012 or 2011, we did just over 5,000. So I would say that we reduced roughly 3,000 PO transactions and we reduced our, our inventory uh, by at least 70% as far as space goes. So we can synchronize our efforts for material coming in, going right to the job, being built, going out the door, basically service our customers. Buckles has always supported us on certain events to help us continue that kind of relationship building with the end user. So this is an indirect stock process that we don't have to touch anymore. So we save a lot of money doing that. And just on labor alone, we're saving a lot of money doing that. Now Buckles and Tesco, I think that we work well together. I think we work awesome together. Because we do get quite a bit through Buckles, then it's kind of nice to be able to go to one source. They've grown with us and made changes with us as we've kind of changed in, in our processes and what we do. 
it has definitely decreased the amount of paperwork that's processed because now with the new system, all they do is send in packs. They get consolidated at the end of the month and submitted for payment. It's just one. It's one consolidated bill and to make sure that things are right on key and on point so that there is no lingering issues on either side. We get to see the results on my end and just working together and the attitude of working together and coming up with the ideas I think is the best solution that we've seen actually work for our workflow. And there doesn't seem to be the struggle of ordering parts and then not being able to get the parts in time and, and the jobs being held up for, for, let's say, fuses or terminal blocks. Something really simple like that. We see the flow of work being able to um, go through the process and out the door, which ultimately makes us all money.